Hello, um, my name is Ray and this is the first of what I hope to be many tutorials. What I've decided to do is start creating tutorials and or rants or screening activities to build up a library of this stuff in my um, blog sphere. And I'm going to post these on YouTube, so if you're watching this, you're probably watching this through YouTube. Um, I don't know where these tutorials will take us. I just hope I bring you interesting stuff. And I hope that you like what you see and please give me some input. So, um, let's get started here. Now this is a fresh install of Ubuntu of 12.04. I don't know what the code name is for it. But let me see. Um, it's called the Precise. The code name is Precise. Long term support is the LTS. Um, and that's pretty cool. So, um, and this is on a, on a Dell Dimension um, 8400 machine. That's, so that's what the host name is. And my name is Ray and I'm the user. What I want to do is I want to get rid of um, this and all of this really and leave the dollar sign. Because since I'm going to be doing tutorials, I, uh, I hope to have more space um, so I can type longer commands. So let's skip, do that. And the trick is to edit the um, prompt variable. And let's first take a look at what it looks like. PS1. And it's this long string. But we're really interested in this part right here. Okay. I don't know what this other stuff does. It probably does something that I don't know. But I know that if I get rid of this, I'll be cool. So let's edit the bash RC. I'm going to use gedit, gnuedit. Oh, before we edit it, let's copy, make a backup copy. And we'll copy it to the same name. And default. Okay. There we go. Now let's edit it. Let's edit the bash rc. rc. Oops. G edit, excuse me. Yes, G edit. And um, right around this line right here, we see that user at HWS. And that's what we want to get rid of. Okay. And PS1 is the variable that it's equal to. So let's get rid of this and save it and exit. Okay, and reload the bash. Reload it, and we see we have the dollar sign. And um, what we could do, since we have some more time left, uh, what we could do is I could show you some simple commands like ls is the list command. If I do ls minus a means all, I see the same subgroup, these files in here documents downloads but I also these see these files that start with a dot in front and those are hidden files with a dot they're hidden um, if I change directory that's what CD means and I can change directory to the ETC directory I can list everything in there okay and I think if I LS minus a I'll get the same list but um I can do also ls minus l, which I think means author. I don't know what, and it gives me some information stuff. Like I have, right now, I have this VTGB. It's a virtual directory, and it's pointing to alternate virtual directories, which sort of. And this is all the stuff is owned by root. Uh, this read write whatever, um, and those are the commands. I um I can know what directory I'm in it if I do this working directory I'm in the etc directory if I change to the tilde that's a shortcut to go to home and I see what directory I'm in I see that I'm in the home directory I think that's about enough I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I hope that um I spark an interest in you and um come back I'm going to go over the app get a little bit thank you